What's up, YouTube? This is Dozer, and this is my uh, Dark Souls Let's Play that I'm starting today, Sunday, January 6th. I recorded this this morning. Obviously, I named my character Dozer. That's my YouTube name, I'll just go with that. You know, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls over the holidays. I got it, I don't know, must have been back in October through my PC. And I played it enough when I got it, but I had school and shit. And I had not really enough time to really understand it completely. I played it a ton over the holidays. I must have put in, I want to say 40, 40 to 50 hours. Christmas holidays, which was massive. I had a lot of fun with it, and I thought I'd In the age start the up my Let's Play. The world was so, I'll just let you guys watch fall. the beginning. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the Furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods build upon their stone skins. The witches weave to great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. A 
And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. So here we are in the Northern Undead Asylum. I hope you guys like the beginning. I rather enjoy the cutscenes in Dark Souls. I think they're fantastic. I think, uh, unlike a lot of people, I think the storytelling's fantastic in uh, Dark Souls, especially after reading more into it. I find it rather interesting. Everything comes together. Obviously, I chose uh, Pyromancer as my starting class reason for this is he starts off at level 1. He's got pretty good stat points. Um, I had an idea for where I wanted to take this build anyway, and he... Uh, you know, I'm not going to use Pyromancy. It's kind of useless for my character, but... Uh, he starts off at level 1, and I think I might want to do some PvP, so Pyromancer is always a solid way to go. Plus, at level 1, the souls required to level up. Uh, to meet the requirements for the weapon I'm going to use. It costs a lot less than if I had, say, chosen a warrior or something else. Plus the armor is light, so I can fast roll, which I like. I'm going to be doing a dex build with uh, some int. Not sure how much. I might only go 32. I might go uh, to 40, depending on how much, how much levels I can put in. With, uh, without going too far past 120. Obviously, I just ran past that guy. It was like 20 souls, it was just nothing. 20 souls is literally nothing. And, uh, I'm gonna open the passage because on a previous playthrough, I oh, forgot you. to open the passage you know and came back and tried to come I get the Rusted Iron Ring I'm and I had to fight. Oh, guys, I'm a silver knight and a black knight. You and I, both well, I didn't have to fight the black knight. He was guarding the odd doll, peculiar doll, that opens up the painted world. Um, I didn't really want to fight the silver knight. He was a pain in the ass. This was back before I learned how to parry their attacks. Good, I was just walking. And uh, that kills your stamina if you don't have a good shield in terms of stability. No, Usually, I don't, and it's because I use the Grass Crash Shield. I like the stamina, stamina of the gen much better than I would uh, something else. But, uh, I can't remember what I did. Did I parry? No, I must have backstab. Yep, backstab. Uh, but, yeah, so. Parrying is a better option for me because of the uh, shield I use in blocking because it takes up more stamina than if I was using a good stability shield. And it doesn't block 100% damage, so guys who hit hard can still damage me. I don't know why I missed two times in a row. That's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, uh, that was a cool attack. Just, uh, the axe's moveset. We've seen there, you can run and roll, um, which usually you can't be able to walk to dodge, you have to be, um, no, you 
jump to try and dodge me. What I did was I blocked. You can't jump while blocking. So you're going out of the rules. See, I get behind. Get out of his way. Get him sometimes. He flies up. You see that? It's not a very wide area that it attacks. If you try and stay close, you get hit. Got the big Belgium Scree. And I get out of the undead asylum. In a second. I think it was because I was playing. And usually I do live commentary, but I don't think that's a smart idea for me to do that while playing Dark Souls, so I didn't. And I'm not going to, it's all going to be post-commentary. And this is an hour-long beginning. I'm going to have to remember to cut them shorter than an hour long, because I like to play for, Only you know, Lengthy play in the sessions a long time it is until I accomplish something, so sometimes that takes a long ass fucking time. And, uh, just because you watch this. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Dark Souls and knows a lot about Dark Souls may know what weapon I'm going with here. I just made sure I used up all my souls because I'm going on a suicide run is the next thing. I'm not really caring what happens to my guy. The point isn't to survive and kill a bunch of enemies and get souls because I probably wouldn't be able to get them back anyway, so going with a low soul count, 114, like that's nothing. Uh, I seen that ledge here, I didn't know I could do this. And then I was looking around, and I'm like, oh shit, that's where those chests are. So I dropped down in there. Like that was a different way than I would tuck, but you know, it, I, maybe it's faster if you're going up for that soul of a lost undead that I got or whatever it was. I get the Morning Star here, and I equip it for whatever reason. Like, I wasn't going to use it. I wasn't going to attack anything. I don't know why I equipped it. Like, I'm checking the stats. It's like, I wasn't going to change the build idea I had in my head. That I want to use for getting into the PvP. Um, you know, connection on the computer. Sucks compared to PS3 and Xbox, and so it's hard to get PvP, but it's fun and you, you do it. find I have an easier time getting invaded than I have trying to invade, so, you know, that's what I'll do at later levels. I don't find low-level PvP to be interesting, because a lot of times people who are way overpowered and it fucking sucks. Sucks ass, so I come here and get away. I jump, yep. And my main point for coming this way. Fuck, I think, did I get hit? Yeah, I did. Okay, my point for coming this way, and I, then I get stuck on this fucking guy. Oh, 
I avoided that firewall, luckily. And you're invincible. I'm just gonna switch. Switch, so it doesn't matter. So now I avoided that guy and that guy. I don't know how that happened. I heal. Yeah, I fully heal. Yep. And I managed to make it to the next part of the catacombs to unlock the switch. I failed the dodge there. Not this time. Do a block dodge. And just go and run him. I died there. Okay, I thought I made it a little further than that the first time I came for the suicide run. But I knew I was making multiple ones. That's why I didn't want to try and kill the guy guarding the first bonfire. Because then I have to make it out. And it's harder going up the steps than it is coming down. You actually have to fucking kill the things. So yeah, that's why. Oh, and then I'm going to grab this soul of lost undead. But that was my thinking. At this point, I was like, well, fuck it, I'll go get my weapon. I won't have many souls to lose. I don't care about 114. I'm going to try and get them back. Like, you know, early on, you might think, oh, get all the souls you can, but it doesn't really matter when it's such a small amount. I mean, you could go down to uh, New Orleans and kill the last fist to be dead. All those that are down there praying, and they give like, I don't know, 40 a piece? I'm not sure, but, um, you know, they give however many souls, and, uh, you know, you get however many souls, and you would easily cover the one, 14. And so I think it's like, they must give something. Something small. Uh, because I uh, did not open the path that I thought I did. I was gonna jump off the bridge there and I was like, fuck, that's not the bridge I brought down. So I was like, well, I know how to get there. And then I get hit on the bridge coming up. I get hit on the bridge and I'm gonna fuck some of my So I'm gonna see Patches, who's up there, brought the bridge down. My original plan was to just kick him, kick him off, so he couldn't fuck with me. But he put the bridge down, and I was like, okay, so now I can jump off the wagon. I don't know if he'd knock the uh, switch the bridge again. I think he would, but I don't care. I'm not exploring the catacombs really anyway. So we're almost at the 20 minute mark this recording, and, uh, you know, I haven't gotten my weapon yet, I've just died two times, retardedly, well, not retardedly, I knew it was a suicide run, but that kind of pissed me off last time, because if those skeletons hadn't jumped down and followed me off the bridge, like that, I could have my weapon last time, so I have to make another run. this character. I knew what I wanted, so I knew what weapon I wanted, and I didn't uh, want to have to change my plan of action, so I was going to be stubborn no matter what it took here to get to it. Did I dodge effectively? Yes. And I just jump off and see if it didn't fall. 
with my weapon of choice. A great sight. Now some people might have an idea of what I'm doing over here. I was going to um uh, blown out and I was like, why the fuck would I do that? Like I came on a suicide gun and I'm I got a thousand souls from something. I assume one of the necromancers was suicided. I don't fucking know. A thousand souls. That's lost. But even a thousand isn't that big. I was going to go back for a thousand souls. That I didn't know how I got. That I didn't really earn, really. Something suicided trying to get to me wasn't a big deal. So I'm unable to wield effectively with present stats. But I have a soul of Crowd Knight. And all those other souls. I'm pretty sure I get my. I think I get my dex up to the requirement, because you can just two-hand a weapon if you don't meet the strength requirement, but if you don't meet the dex requirement, it doesn't fucking matter. So, that's what I think I did here. I got my dex up to 14, and maybe strength up a point. I don't know, I can, f I can completely wield it, okay. Yeah, the one-handed move set isn't great. But I like the way it looks. That's an awesome attack. Like, that's the jumping attack that looks fucking sweet. That's why I went with this weapon. I love the way it looks. And, um, anybody who's experienced probably thinks that I might be going for Life Hunter Scythe. The Life Hunt Scythe in, uh... For, uh... PvP. I'm not. I'm just... Great Scythe plus 15 is the plan. I think I realized here that I can't... Fast roll. Yeah. Now I can fast roll. And I'm going on another suicide gun. Well, not necessarily suicide. Yeah. It, well, it becomes a suicide gun. So it doesn't matter if I'm wearing armor or not. And see what I just did there? I sent the ladder back up because I figured I'd have to come a few times. I usually don't get this right. I wanted to see what kind of damage it would do. Not bad. Oh, so they give 12 souls. I missed twice. That was embarrassing. I was like, fuck, this group that's hard to hit with. And I think I almost fell off the edge. Yeah, yeah, almost fell off the edge with that. But... Um, but towards the end of this episode, I start getting it. They're kind of hard to hit, because they're sitting down, and on at the level. And you are, you know, getting back here. Uh, I'm going for my grass car shield. I just like the stamina of the gen. Um, and honestly, I'll probably end up going Mask of the Child as well, when I, later on. Which is actually probably a good thing that I didn't kill Patches, or never got to try and kick Patches off the edge, actually. Because there's no guarantee that Penwheel drops it when I finally come around to fighting him. Um, and then I'll probably wear the Clarantia ring as well, so my stamina regens. Like, really fucking fast. Really fucking fast. That's what I'm looking for. And, uh, Scythe has a nice ability of inflicting bleed. I don't get inflicted with the life on scythe. Life on scythe is really yeah, fucking bad at that. Life on scythe's bleed is different. And, uh, that's what I wanted. Is the great scythe plus 15. The life on scythe is really good if you have, like, the blood shield and the, uh, blood bite thing. Yeah, blood bl Blood bite? Blood bite? Blood blight? No, it's blood bite. Blood bite ring? Not blood blight. That was just a joke. Not a but, uh. I think I died two times to these drakes, these fucking stupid things. Um. You know, they're a piece of shit. Piece of shit. I couldn't roll through the electricity attack. This time, the electricity doesn't fucking kill me, and, it's, and then he just knocks me off the fucking edge. I think I was dead before I was knocked off the edge, though, so... Doesn't really matter. Um... But yeah, I would recommend people playing Dark Souls... People to play Dark Souls if they enjoy a challenge, I mean... 
I'm probably not putting any more Skyrim stuff on my YouTube channel. I have another episode recorded. I probably won't put it up. You know, after playing Dark Souls, I just can't get into Skyrim anymore. It's like, eh. Uh, do I really want to? No, I'll, I'll go play Dark Souls. Like, it's a challenge. It never feels cheap. It always feels like... Kind of my own fault. You know what I fucking did? I don't know why. I tried to jump. Almost would spin. Knocked off the edge. You died. The next time I'm coming through, I thought I could make him fall off the edge. I can't. But, um. Yeah, you know. It it works the way I go about doing things this time, and it's kind of fluky why it works, yeah, but it, it does end up working, and I get my shield, and you guys actually get to see some actual combat instead of me suicide running to get some stuff, and then, I mean, basically the first half hour of this episode... Probably longer, actually. I'd like to see how long I fucking... Um, well, you'll see. And then I'll talk. I'll just talk randomly about random stuff. Um, yeah, so... I'm like, okay, I gotta figure out a plan to get there. I wasn't gonna wait until... Um, like, to get to Andre. To go fucking get the grass crest shield. It's a fucking waste of time. I can get it now. Why not get it now? Yeah, I figured the scythe might be slowing me down a bit. I don't know if it was or not. <laughs> it never ends up mattering. Really in the first place. On this run. Because, as you'll soon see... Um... A fluke... Happens. And it was because of outside forces outside my computer, because as a university student still living at home, I cannot disregard my parents the way I could if I lived somewhere else and was recording. I could just call them back later and say I wasn't in, but uh, my strategy was to get them to fall off the edge didn't work. Soon enough I get called to help my dad. He's, he just wanted some help moving stone bills. You know. So I helped him. I, I don't know. I thought it took five minutes, maybe. Probably took more like ten. I hope not. That would really suck, but my guy just ends up standing. Maybe this is it? This camera angle is where I stop. Yeah, okay, this is it. I'd like to see how long I stopped for. This is actually boring, but, um, you know, nothing I can do. I don't have high quality recording stuff. I use fraps. I use a microphone off my headset. Works pretty well. Um, I have this video pad, video editor, that I use to edit my videos and put up and compress them so they're easier to put up. Um, you know, while my guy's standing there, I guess we'll just talk about, uh, I don't know, Dark Souls in general. I think the combat system's really, really good. It's probably the best I've ever played in terms of combat system. Um, I rather enjoy the how nothing feels cheap. You always, um, you gotta think. You gotta think about what you're doing. You always have to think. If you don't think, you will die, which was the trademark of Dark Souls, the slogan, I guess, you will die. But if you're not fucking thinking about stuff, you will. And sometimes even when you think about stuff, you will. But you got you really got to put some effort into thinking about what you're going to do next, especially when you get into actual combat. Because if you don't... You will quickly find out that enemies will pounce on mistakes very quickly. And because I've also done like half a half Skyrim Let's Play, I guess it's never going to get finished now. Um, 
you know, the combat system in Skyrim is terrible when you compare it to Dark Souls. I mean, all you do is get something in the center of your screen and you mash um, the mouse buttons or the bumper buttons on your controller. Or, you know, it's not the, uh, it's not the best. It's pretty poor, actually. Magic's not particularly done well. I feel that magic in Skyrim is so overpowered, it's ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, the uh, magic in Dark Souls, some people say that it's overpowered, too. Um, I don't know, I... I've used faith, I've used strength, I've used... Um, I went halfway with an ant build, I kind of fucked up. Didn't really like it that much. Because I decided to use an enchanted short sword as my weapon of choice, which was stupid. Gaping dragon took a hell of a long time to kill, it wasn't... that fun. So... I came back and I thought, well if I'm gonna do some ant... It's going to be on a dex build, and it's going to uh, it's going to be used mainly for buffs, and maybe I'll use the Pyromancer's glove for power within. I don't know, PVP, you know, it's uh, it's a possibility. But if I use an int build, it's going to be used for buffs, and that was my reasoning behind it. Um, this time, so. The playing. Th oh, here we go. It only took. It was only four minutes, I think. You can see that guy reset. When I was gone, that was the fluky thing I was talking about. He didn't even. He didn't fucking notice me. Uh, like, he just. Well, he noticed me. He just left. And it was like, well, he's so. I'm so close now. That. Because I had to go and help. Uh, my dad. It's like, well, fuck. Now. I can just run right by him and go get my. Shield. Uh, I'm just gonna pull the lever. I don't know why. And yeah, I got my great scythe for whatever reason. I probably should have put some armor back on. I didn't think to. I just sent the elevator back down for some reason. I didn't light the bonfire. I know why I did that. I was gonna homeward bone out. And the reason I say Homeward Bone instead of Suicide Run was because I got with the end of a fight with this guy, and I almost died right there. I don't know how I fucking survived that one. But, um, I did. I equipped my Grass Car Shield, nothing else. And then I decided I'm gonna come over and parry this guy. Because if I got lucky and got like a Black Knight Halberd or something, I would have just fucking said, okay. Okay. So I parry him, no time on that attack, I fought enough of him and him Orlando. I never before, I never got the timing on that attack. I must have been on this one when I was playing. For timing. I was like, fuck, I never timed that attack before. And I got it twice in a row. This time. Yeah, I fuck up that, and I'm like, I'm not dying, not when he parried, not when I've parried him twice, I'm not dying. For whatever reason, he can't come in the cave. Just block it, because that's normally what I do. I realized I had a tough time parrying it. Not today I didn't, but usually I realize I have a tough time parrying it, so I just fucking stop. And I, what did I just attack? Okay, and then I took him out, so that's what, 800? 1800. Okay, 1800 souls. I homeward bone out. I don't know why I go and bother to equip it. I could have just used it for my inventory in the time it takes. I don't like having it in my slots either. Level up here. I should have used my souls beforehand. And, uh, first thing I do is I go for 20 minutes. When I'm making a character, that's the first thing I normally do. Unless, in this case, 
I had a weapon close by. That is my final weapon. I go with its requirements first. It's raising my endurance is usually number one. That's my number one thing. Okay, sorry guys, that was mid rolling. Take the helmet off and fast roll again. So it's like, okay, that's good. I got my pyromancy flame. I don't even think I fucking use pyromancy the whole episode. I don't know why I bother to equip it. Maybe once. Maybe once I used it. I don't know. I block him. Parry. The boss. 225, 226 or something. Can't really see on this small screen. But I'm narrating. I just back away. I really like the weapon. Looks fantastic. I wait for his fire to be down. That zero two attack. Looks fantastic. I managed to get both of them in the swing. That was a nice little thing. I pillage the thing before he falls down. Not like it was worth it or anything. But, you know, kind of OCD about a lot of things. If I... Okay, so I missed the first one. I get that one, but I'm kind of OCD about things. If I see a, something like that, I'm going to pick it up. Even if I know it's useless to me, I kind of want to pick it up. Unless I can't get to it. There's a little jump there. It's cool that you can make those in Dark Souls because I've been playing Demon Souls recently as well. Because after playing so much Dark Souls, I went and picked up a used copy of Demon Souls and I was like, yeah, I'll try. I'm going to try this. This uh, Dark Souls is awesome. I loved it. I love Demon Souls, but you can't jump. You can only roll. Which, so you couldn't be able to get to that ledge in Demon Souls. It's a nice little thing with that added to Dark Souls. Just trying out the move set. I love that. That's a jumping on two attack. It's fantastic. Just, just trying out different things. I forgot that a kick was just forward out of one no matter what. So. The giant rat. Drop one hit. So I've lost undead. And then I head into the bug. I didn't go human at all in this episode. I don't think. Pretty sure I didn't. I didn't go human. I didn't want to get invaded in the bug because I'm not really interested in right now at level I don't know what level my guy would be at. Ten? Whatever. Not worth it to go PvP with people who could very well have um, cheated, hacked. It was a nice dodge there. Fucking not there. And uh, what do I do here? I think I see backstep. Yeah, backstep and then that attack. You know, I'm just learning that there's different ways to pull out different moves in this game. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really in depth. I absolutely love it. I'll just put it that way. I love this game. This is a fantastic, fantastic game. Um, for anybody that didn't know, you can go through those barrels, go get this item. I didn't know until my last playthrough that you could do that. It's that little door here. Yeah, I go in it. I go get the item. So all the lost undead. You know, got a ton of souls of lost undead. They're only worth 200 souls, but it's, it's uh, I forgot about those guys. I didn't realize they'd be so weak to fall in one hit. So that's what happened there. I did not forget about those. Oh, I do try to use pyro too. Okay, spent a little try time trying to self aim it. That was a bit close. That was a bit closer. Uh, yeah, it was about as close as I was gonna get. I didn't feel like fucking wasting my time. Oh shit, yeah, and then I was like, oh shit, where'd he come from? I love it. I love the moveset. It's fantastic. Um, a lot of people don't like the R1 attack from what I've read, but, uh... I think it's beautiful. I think it is fantastic. I thought I'd get both of them. I didn't. 
that's okay. Yeah, so... That was, uh... That was my, uh... Getting all those little items. And this guy comes up Vlado with me and Delivery Top. Just humanity over there. Good for healing. You know, if you want to kindle bonfires, it's great for that too. Um, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't kindle until the end of this episode, I think, because I was like, well, I'm not fucking getting invaded. <laughs> I'm not looking to low level PvP. I don't need a summon to help me beat fucking the Minotaur. I don't even think you can get a summon for the Taurus Demon, can you? Maybe you can, I don't fucking know. I don't think you can. Uh, I still really thought the arrow guy couldn't hit me from here. But, um... You know, the thing with arrow guys is... They're all Olympic quality archers, and... If they weren't undead, they could have a career training for, training for the Olympics. Um, yeah, I just like the jumping attack. I think that was a uh, what was behind that. Just like the jumping. Attack. I think I tried on these guys. Yeah, it doesn't do damage. They still got their shield. Oh. I was actually embarrassed of myself here because I practiced parrying on these guys. They were my parrying practice. Like, that's how I practiced parrying. Guys like these in the bird because I wasn't you know, with a higher level character. I was like, well, I'll fucking learn how to parry. And I parried the, the same exact type of people a hundred times. A hundred times. I practiced parrying. And then I missed that guy twice. It was like, fuck. That's bad. Then I guess parrying's only useful early on. Well, I mean, it's always useful in PvP. But, uh... It's only really useful early on for if you were a... Um... Yeah, when you play facing the humanoid enemies. I guess it's useful in... New Londo Ruins. It's not very useful anywhere else. Thank you, come. <laughs> It'd be useful if you're farming. Actually, Anor Londo, it's pretty useful. You can carry a party in Anor Londo as well. Except for the giants. And the demons, so not everybody. I'll fucking miss. You, you Still learning the moveset. Yulia. Can't lock on. Yulia. Boom, there we go. I think I just jump attack. I jump attack spam. Yeah, that's all I fucking do. He tried to jump attack me, and he's like, why me? And, uh... You know, I'm liking it. The Uchi Katana, another weapon I could consider. I have the stats for it. And I was like, eh, fuck it, I'll just go with my scythe. That was the plan. And I was doing a dex build. I like the Uchi Katana's moveset, but... Yeah, I'd like to try out the scythe. It kinda looks fucking badass. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Just jump attacks again. You know, who doesn't like the look of that jumping attack? He pulls it back, he fucking slams it. Ah. <sighs> Talking for a long fucking time. I recorded way too long in this episode. Probably should have taken a break after the. Um, After, what, the, what the fuck was I doing? I don't know. My phone must have rang, I guess. I checked it. I guess I was in a safe spot. Um, but, uh... I don't want to record hour-long episodes all the time. That takes a long time to voice over. Um, but... Uh, it's interesting watching myself go through and play again. It's rather interesting. I find. Sniper head, yeah, I don't 
I think I might have just checked on accident. I heal. Just so I have full health for what I'm doing after. Um, wooden shield, not using it. I have my grass crest shield that I like. And, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I come over here, I love the guy, because I thought the guy was going to ambush me. He usually does, he didn't. But I lured one guy anyway, so it's not three on one, it's two on one, a little more fair. Got a humanity somewhere, I assume it was just an enemy who had humanity, because you get those sometimes. Backstab, I like how they put the backstab with the scythe, you just put the whole fucking blade through their back. And that's like telling the earth, you're like, fuck you, tell earth. It was, uh... Anyway, it's a, it's an awesome move set. I love it. I've only been playing with it. Like, this is my first character that I've ever used it. I didn't play it on Xbox. I didn't play it on PS3. I played... I only played it because I got it on a whim. It was $40. Actually, you know what it was? Uh, I didn't think PayPal worked with a with buying. Oh no, no, I, I, I didn't realize PayPal had that automatic transfer thing that transfers money into your account. For money from your account. I didn't realize it had that uh, when you go and spend, so I went and got a prepaid Visa card. And uh, I, wa I wanted to see if it worked. Because I read that prepaid visas sometimes don't work on Steam. And I was like, well, that seems odd, but okay. Um, yeah, so I went and got this on a whim. Uh, with my prepaid visa card. And I was like, okay. Well, I'll get this. I'll try it. You know. And it was just so I could buy other games. But I gotta say, I'm glad I did the fucking purchase. I missed the parry there. And I... Um... Try and lure one guy. He starts coming. And now both of them are coming. It's like, fuck. But, um... I wasn't gonna... Oh, I guess I do attempt to parry. I get it. I could've just attacked him after he missed with his sword. With a long reach of the scythe. Which is another thing I'm not used to. Long reach. Actually, no, that's bullshit. The Baldic Side Sword, uh, R2 attack is long reach. Yeah, got you that time. Yeah, I love how the scythe goes right through them. It's like, that's not a. How, like, how far do you have to pull your own back to put the scythe through them? That would seem like a really fucking long, long arm to be able to do that. Grab the gold pine resin for the boss. Um, I don't go grab the blue, blue tear stone ring yet. I was like, ah, I don't have um, very much Estus. I'm not going to risk dying to him and going all the way back to Firelink, because I didn't go to the bonfire. Here. Which was stupid, but at this point, I was like, uh... At this point, I was like, mm, I don't need to go to the bonfire. Got four Astis for what I was like, oh, this he's a pretty easy boss. I, I ended up using two gold pine resins on him, but you'll see that. I get the Titanite Lizard. Ah, there we go. And large Titanite Shard. One, two t Twinkling Titanite. It's always good to get them, because they give two Twinkling Titanite. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking kill you. I'll gladly kill you for two t Twinkling Titanite. Not sure what armor set I'm going with, uh, other than I think Mask of the Child. My last one, I did a mix and match. I'll probably do a mix and match this time as well. Just something that keeps me fast rolling with the, my Claranthi ring. Um, when I get it, 
also with Mask of the Child and the Grass Crash Shield. Yeah. I'm going to uh, go with Darkwood Green. It's fucking awesome. You get the Ninja Gold and it's Spelling Frames. Like, it's fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Didn't fuck him. Fucked up the roll. Heal. Uh, I was not gonna deal with fucking up my rolls. I wasn't able to. Yeah, I missed that. Bad time to miss another two attack. Did quite a bit of damage there. Yeah. Fucked up there. Gold through his legs, luckily. Chugging it in as this flask. Okay. And there. I'm like, well, I'm going to just jump down. Not a chance, I'm not risking dying. Going back to fire lane. And having to come through all that is not a chance. Lightning, so it's kind of useless. I get uh, humanity, homely bone. Nothing special, just wasted cold pine resin. Then again, it's not very really useful. So I mean, it's kind of useful. It's useful for him. It's useful for the gargoyles, but the gargoyles are really easy anyway. But attacks are predictable, and you only have to move a tiny bit, and you have a huge roof to hit. If you can take out one, one of them, it's not a problem at all. Like for simple, simple as shit. Ah, as I am Thor of Asgora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, so I have come. You find that no need to hide your reaction. <laughs> oh. But, uh, talk to Solaire, get the white summon sign. I'm thinking of doing some co-op in next episode, hopefully. Hopefully helping people with the bell go go else. You know. It's a lot of fun to co-op with people. You get a ton of souls. Like, it's the easiest way to log in PvPing. But it's the time of PvPing. You don't need souls anyway, so... Um, co oping is a fantastic way to get souls, I find. Um, yeah, and then I just run. Like, yeah, no risk of getting fire breathed here. Um, now that I've beaten the Taurus Demon, I can open up this shortcut. When I first played this, I didn't know it was a shortcut. I was like, that ladder doesn't go all the way down. Take me halfway down, I didn't know you could kick it, because I didn't go up to it. I was like, fuck, that's a long way from any bonfire. Long fucking way from a bonfire. It's like, fuck, but now I know it's really useful. Yeah, I get my endurance to level 19. Uh, I'm level 60, and I got my endurance to 19, sorry. And, um... Maybe I get it to 20. I see the souls there. Yeah, I probably get it to 20. Yeah. You see that guy? Oh, I know what he's wearing. He wasn't wearing... He wasn't using the dragon tooth. That was Paladin... Leroy, maybe? It was Hamlet, or... Uh... No, it was the one you get from killing the Asylum Demon first try. I think. He probably picked Black Firebombs as his gift. Because that's the easiest way to do it. Then he was wearing an armor set. Although, you'd have to have pretty fucking high strength at this level to be able to wield that weapon. Even two-handed. Yeah, so I got my endurance to 20. That's why I like it. Okay, yeah. Get him. Get him. Uh, yeah, miss him. Twice. Get him now. Get the other guy. 
lock onto him, I don't give a shit. And then I think I just run through this time. No, I don't. Okay, but the other guy came this time, is what the thing was. Yeah. And he can't deal with my jumping attack. Jumping attack misses. And I just use my normal R2. That was, you know, it was fantastic. I love, I love the weapon. I love, uh, I love this game. It's fantastic. Dark Souls 2. I really hope when they say that they're going to make it more advanced, not advanced. What, am I, what the fuck is what I'm thinking? More accessible. I really hope they don't make it easier. I think that would ruin the experience. I mean, it's one of the best experiences I've ever had, simply because you get the feeling of, yeah, I fucking did it. Yeah, I did it. That's fantastic. After dying 20 times, though, when, yeah, I did it, it's it's actually beautiful. It's like, oh, fuck yes, I did Fuck, that's how you feel. You're like, fuck yes, I did it. Fucking right. That, that's, that is why I think people come come to this game, they fell, lots of people fell in love with this game, it's a huge community, um, you actually feel like you accomplished something. Some people don't like it, some people like to feel like gods in their games, I guess, I don't, I don't know why people, more people don't like this. I can't get my brother to try it, he won't do it, he doesn't like that it's hard, I guess, I don't know that it's reputation says it's hard. Like, he does get pissed at games. Normal games, we can't do something. So, I can't imagine him... Oh, I do use my fire dance I can I can't imagine him actually enjoying Dark Souls that much. But, uh, I try and get him to try it. He won't. I know he won't. But he should. Hit him? Didn't think so. Okay, so my one-handed heavy attack killed him. And then I come here. I don't want him sneaking up on me for what I'm going to do next, because now that I've gone to the bonfire, my plan is go get the blue tear stone ring. Although, it's useless. Useless ring. Like, when you're at 20% of your health, the ring is useless. You're gonna get one-shotted anyway, and that's when it activates. Like, there's no point. I mean, a small enemy might not do it, but if you're using it, you're probably using it for bosses. Here, I fuck up a backstab attempt. I dodge. Dodge out. I'm just trying to bring him to an area where I can fight him better. I think that's... this is a good area. And once again, I fuck up on a parry. Right there. That's not a good... I, I mean, people are gonna say, oh yeah, I can get that get that down, but I can't. I can't fucking get that, that time down. I get the um, long swing down because they have a hitch, and I get it that time. They have a hitch, and they pull back their sword, and I just know when to... Not a hitch, a tell. Right there. Very cool. Going back. I just know the timing, I guess. I managed to dodge, even though I stayed within his range. Jumping attack finishes them off. A Titanite chunk. I don't know if that's a rare drop from them, or I, or it's a guaranteed drop from him. And I start coming back to the bonfire, and I'm like, oh, wait, oh, fuck. I went and did that for the blue tear stone thing, and I don't have it. Got to grab it, so I run back and uh, grab it. I grabbed it just for you know, just to say I had it, just because it was there and it was kind of annoying to not have it picked up. But uh, no, I'm never going to use it. I don't even bother putting it in a slot. I don't have a ring in my slot. I could probably go get the Leo ring. Oh yeah, I was testing if I could fast roll. I can't still, even though I moved my endurance up. So, hood's off. Big, like, big deal. The hood's not a huge thing. Not like I'm getting much protection from my armor anyway. 
But, uh, thanks for watching. This is an hour-long episode. Uh, the first in my Dark Souls Let's Play. I'm going to try and cut everything else to half an hour. Just simply because an hour is a really fucking long time to be playing. Not to be playing. An hour is not a long time to be playing at all. An hour is a really fucking long time to be talking. Ugh, yeah, I'm deciding what to do. And then I realize I should probably cut.